Greetings everyone, this is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. We live in the world of Trump Pansies, Donald Trump. You know, Rudy Giuliani says, truth is not truth. Ridiculous, insane people that have uh, perception that, that's not proven. But we also have, aside from Trump supporters, we have people that um, should be in a padded room. Uh, not just Trump supporters. So, um, using Giuliani as an example, Rudy Giuliani says that, uh, you know, that truth is not truth. <laughs> he, don't, he don't want to talk about slavery? He don't want to talk about anybody. Yeah. Greetings. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. This is James P. Madonna. And I'm talking to these fine gentlemen um, in high school. Yes. High school high school students. And we're talking about how school is nowadays where teachers rush through one chapter per day followed by an exam at the end of the week. Now, how are you supposed to be able to study and memorize everything in by rushing through one chapter per day? All right. That's one. That's one topic. Another topic is that when I was in tech school, what they did was they took the graduating senior students, and for school credit, for school credit. They had them work. Oh, no, no, thank you. For school credit, they had them work for free, almost like slave labor. And I know I discussed this in a past, years ago. And then once the graduating students finish school, then they get a new semester of graduating senior students, students in to work for free again. So it's a revolving door of slave labor in American schools. In, I'm talking about tech school, college now in high school they do give too much homework they do rush through a chapter you what do you think about a chapter a day average is a lot is a lot and it's a lot of textbooks they have to carry it's a lot of studying they just rush through it okay um, but the thing about about the senior students working for free for, right for for school credit that's how they sucker them into it you get school credit if you work for an employer right if you're a graduating student um, that's what we had to do this year we worked at the summer camp for free to get hours for high school oh guess what so they don't have to pay anybody we're slaves you guys want you guys want to be you want to be seen or just heard you want, he don't know. He don't want to be seen or heard. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just. Dad's a gym teacher, and his mom's a teacher aide. My mom's a real teacher. Oh, well, that's good. Now we were just talking about like how they they rush through one chapter per day, and 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 it's really hard on students to rush through one one chapter per day, and also if if you go to tech school after high school, if you go to let's say tech school. They take the senior 
uh, semester students, they have them work for, co for school credit for free for an employer. And then when they graduate, they send another semester of senior students to work for free again. So it's like a revolving door of like legal slave labor. When you think about it, it's a scam. And the kids think, oh wow, we're getting school credit. We're getting, you know, hands-on experience. Meanwhile, the employer loves it because now all the senior students are working for nothing. You know, it, it's a scam and, and, and they sucker you in that way. You know, um, another thing, another thing they sucker you in is they'll, if you want to apply for a grant to go to school, like a Pell Grant, they'll say you have to sign up for the military draft. That's the catch. I told them, oh, basically, go to hell. I'm not signing up for no draft to get the Pell Grant. I got grant, I got money from workforce, which is only $4,000. The tech school, Lincoln Tech wanted 10,000. So I said, sorry, 4,000 or nothing. I went to get up. The woman said, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the 10 grand. We'll take the 4,000. You, you, you can take the course. Like it's like, buy, it's like buying a car. So you tell them, hey man, that's it. I'm walking, 4,000 or nothing. So um, these are all like stuff they do in tech school too. One chapter a day, um, the slave labor thing. My uncle who's a um, retired uh, electronic engineer, he was vice president of Westinghouse. He, he told me, listen, he told me, don't waste your time taking notes. Don't don't kill yourself. What you do is you take a highlighter marker and whatever the teacher mentions in it from the textbook, you'll highlight that section. And you only study what's highlighted. You don't have to ever take notes again. Yeah, we don't own our textbooks, we don't buy them. No, I don't Oh, you don't own them? No, they give it to us and then they get reused every year, so we can't write in them. Oh, no, I don't write in it. I, what I do is I highlight it. Yeah, but I don't think we're... They don't want you to highlight? No. Uh, damn it. Well, I know, in t in, I know when you leave... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. When you leave high school, I think you own them. That maybe that's why they didn't say anything to me. So I took, like, you know, a chartreuse highlighter. I hide whatever the teacher said. They only read what's in a textbook. And the textbooks are outdated anyway. The textbooks are like, the teacher told me, all these textbooks are like outdated. So I did it. I studied from the highlighted section. I was like A, 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 A minus B plus student average on my, all, all my exams. I, I made the Dean's Honors List, uh, uh, whole Hocus School of Business and uh, medical sciences, whatever, Dean's honors list. I took not one note. I didn't write any notes in a notebook. Because the teacher is like talking and you're like, and if you're, if you're, if your writing is, is not great, you know, my writing's terrible. It's like a doctor. I, I can't even, when I'm writing fast, I can't understand my own writing. I said, why am I killing myself? So my uncle, who retired a million, a multimillionaire, he said, why are you killing yourself? Don't take notes ever. Highlighting marker. So, actually, this is pretty. This is a pretty educational uh, video. Um, you have a stage name, or you want to give a first a first name? Big Daddy Rocco. Big Daddy Rocco, Rocco like yeah. you, oh, like hey, Adrian. <laughs> no. Big Daddy Rocco, and the. I don't know, whatever. His partner, his, his vice president, the vice president. Like when George Costanza on Seinfeld had his, uh, gave out the uh, fake charities called the Human Fund. The Human Fund Foundation to, as a Christmas present, and it was fake. Oh, man. Now, we learned a lot here in, the, in almost eight minutes. Um, no, it's only eight minutes. Oh, it felt like a year. Now it's 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 a shame that no no he contributed. I, we had a little help from their friend. What's your stage name? Double white. This is going to go. Double white. Yeah. It's double white. Goat shed and uh, Big Daddy Rock or White Rock. Goat shed. Goat shed. Goat shed. Double white and Big Daddy Rock Rock Rocco. Big Daddy Rock. Big Daddy Rock. Yeah.
Big Daddy. This is hard-hitting truth from high school students from Bergen County, New Jersey. I'll leave it at that. All right? You got that? Uh, let's see. Any other... Uh, Oh, that's right. Uh, oh, the subject about the, the the very attractive teachers. All right. This is you, you remember in the news, this blonde, this very attractive blonde teacher from Tampa, Florida was arrested for having an affair with a high school student. Well, guess what? The poor woman, the media made the poor woman look really terrible. But, it was an older high school male, which cannot be corrupted, cannot be traumatized, because they know everything. Believe me, they do. They know everything about the internet, they know everything about life, they know everything about everything. The teacher, the teacher was very, very, very pretty. And guess what? She was doing that young man a big favor. Okay? You can't, you can't traumatize uh, a high school male if the teacher is hot looking that being said after nine minutes almost 10 minutes i might as well let it run down to 10 minutes yes i saw what that teacher looked like she should never go to jail she should have never been arrested the one in tampa florida i wish i had teachers like that that that, that did that to me are you kidding when I was 16, man? That's the one. <laughs> now you see how smart this kid is? He got the teacher's photo up on, on his smartphone as I was talking. That's the one. Now, 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 come on. Now, come on. If I was, if I was, even if I was freshman in high school, I wish I had a teacher like that lock the door when the kids left and I mean come on you can't you can't traumatize a high school kid with a teacher that looks like that what do you think you think she's a number one <laughs> you see now listen we got George Jetson advanced 21st century high school students that are way above any other generation even above the millennials which are at, which can be assholes because they don't say thank you if you hold the door open but if they don't say thank you you just whip the door in their face you know and you break their nose but anyway yeah right there, there you go bitch slap but that teacher he showed the photo of that teacher there is no way of course the parents made a big deal out of it oh my poor son oh you traumatize him let me tell you something a teacher like that you can't traumatize no young male, even though he is under 18. All is fair in love and war. And in this case, being seduced in school by a hot looking blonde like that. Get her out of prison. I hope she's not in there. And it's illegal to have it's It's illegal. It's illegal, just like moonshine moonshiners are illegal you guys that make their own booze and marijuana which is really medicinal marijuana destroys cancer cells it, it is a whole long list of illnesses that marijuana cures but because the government is not getting i think once the government gets taxes off all these people then it becomes legal um Moonshiners, people have been making booze for thousands of years. In Europe, in other countries, young people are allowed to drink craft beer, wine, liquor. No problem. But that's that's another thing. You know, I mean, when politicians don't have their hands in the pot, they make it illegal. As far as that girl goes, that woman, that teacher, yes, technically, it's not legal. Uh, but... Uh, being that young guys are you know young guys are very advanced and uh young guys have been having situations with great looking adult women like that for thousands of years there's no way you can traumatize the young a young guy therefore it's it is total crap by it being illegal that's it i've said what i had to say we are over 13 minutes 
and um, I'm sure you people out there can just simply look up the photograph of that teacher and multiply her many times that this has happened throughout the United States. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, you got that? You got that now? You, you see her now? She's, she doesn't look happy, but um, you know what? It doesn't matter. She doesn't even have to smile. She doesn't have to smile because she, to me, it, it, she made that that young man's year. Maybe his entire childhood was, she's doing him a favor. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Pro Pro Big progress. Daddy out. Big Daddy Rock out. Even though my regular video with a certain someone couldn't be done because a certain someone is like, got a few screws loose. Bye bye. I was just talking to uh, Big Daddy Rock uh, about the fact that since I have so many shows on the internet and they and YouTube, Google, who owns YouTube, puts their advertisement automatically on all the videos and the fact that they owed me money and they sent me an email telling me how much money they owe me, right? Now, get this, I never received the check. Nothing. And I still haven't received the check. So this is like a, another corporate scam, similar to the scam we were talking about before with schools, tech, sco tech schools. Actually, not just tech schools, high schools too, because they're suckering high school students to work at summer camps, at summer camps, and they don't give you a penny, right? We get paid hours, and after we get paid money, so it's not bad. It's not too bad, but they, they reimburse you. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But yeah, like with Google, YouTube, I mean, uh, you know, you're you're letting companies advertise for free. They get free advertisement. They're supposed to be paying up. Damn right. Like that woman that was years ago, it was an old lady, speaking of McDonald's, it was an old lady who spilled coffee, who was in a drive-thru, spills coffee on her lap and gets millions from McDonald's. Now, how the hell could coffee take, the fir take off the first layer of skin on somebody's leg? Yeah, but I've spilled... Like you spilled hot stuff on you and you, right? No, but you never, the skin never came off. Like it's got the, the caution hot on it. Oh, caliente caution hot, okay. Yeah, so yeah. You know, but they, unless they lowered the temperature. Yeah, the old woman, like she, lo she looked like the kind of old lady that would call the cops on, on everybody at the drop of a hat. See ya.